it is well known or a well known fact that for businesses in Nigeria to thrive, there are factors that can choke or wither the growth of the business. These factors range from power to government policies and various economic instabilities. I mean, all that, one of the leading local manufacturers, distributors, and marketers of food and beverage in Nigeria, Rights Food Limited, incorporated in 2008, has been one out of many Nigerian-owned businesses that are proven to stand out against all odds. Well, it is not surprising, therefore, that in just a few years of being in business, the company has almost overtaking giants in the line of business, succeeding in harsh economic climates to stand out in order to manufacture products that are of best qualities and internationally acceptable. Now, as a result of this outstanding success uh, in its round-the-clock operations, Right Foods has continued to satisfy its numerous consumers with the production, distribution, branding, and marketing of world-class quality foods and beverage as it rolls of tens of thousands of products into the market daily. Well, joining me live in our Lagos studio to give more insight into uh, its new prospects for business integration, I am opportunity to have the managing director, Rights Food Limited, Mr. Selim Adegunwa. Did I get any more? Yeah, <laughs> Thank right. you so much, Mr. Adegunwa. I appreciate your time. Well, well, very interesting intro there, you know, all Nigerian brand. But before we go there, the company was first known to produce sausages and all of it, but all of a sudden, carbonated drinks, energy drinks, and all that came into play. Can you take us through how you got here? Well, like to, it's interesting you say all of a sudden, um, <laughs> because it was actually, you know, if you take a look at our name, we have S at the end of foods. Yes. So it was always right from the onset, we have a list of to-do list. Um, so always simply doing it, just releasing it one after the other. So yes, we started with the sausages, then we moved the natural progression, once you have food, is something to drink. Um, so we moved on to the carbonated soft drinks, and then thereafter we have the energy drink. We still have a lot more other products as well coming out. So yes, it will always seem like all of a sudden to the consumer, but in our books, it's all part of our blueprint. Wow, so that S already was there, so we should right be expecting that. Yes, right. Well, let's now, challenges, uh, you know, with this transformation and uh, this growth. How has it been in Nigeria and with our climate? You know, we are talking earlier about the economy and all of that. Yes, you know, um, for us, really, I, I think the greatest transformation is being a Nigerian brand. Um, so one of the things we discovered very early on was there's a need to change the philosophy and the mindset of people mm -hmm. um, to understand that, Yes, you're 100% Nigerian, but you can operate on a world-class standard. Um, so one of the things we had to do was change the mindset with um, consumers and, if, and also even the supply chain, um, you know, your distributors and having people to have interest. in them. We, we talked today because the, the brand now is going on, what, five years on the beverage side now. So we, we talk from a different perspective, but I know what it was like five years ago where nobody seemed to want to touch it. So there was a need to change the mindset and once we change the philosophy, you change your thought pattern. And once you change your thought pattern, your attitude changes, which of course leads to behavioral, and then people take action. Yeah. So today, um, you know, it's a lot more easier. But for me, that, that seems to be the greatest challenge, which is always for people to be able to be comfortable with a 100% Nigerian brand. Um, that's doing absolutely world-class products. Indeed, that takes me to even how your staff and other stakeholders are taking this uh, transformation currently ongoing in the company. How are they, how receptive are they? To we, we have a terminology we use internally. You know, we say we we must not have a slave mentality, um, and that is very much what we all use internally. So our, our internal team understand this quite well. And same thing with our stakeholders. They've, they've gotten used to the fact that okay, when you're working with rifles, you really must come to the table um, with your A game because these guys are uh, operating the world-class standards. This also cut me truly world-class and proudly Nigerian. I'm Absolutely. always very proud of that Nigerian Absolutely, brand yeah. uh, because I, I'm waiting for that time where we also come on air and we have all Nigerian, <laughs> all we wear will be all Nigerian, yeah. but I think we'll get to that point. But tell us, why, why, why that statement, truly world-class and proudly Nigerian? Well, it, was, it was actually intentional. If you notice, we put the truly world-class first yep. before the proudly Nigerian because that's really what it's about. Um, you know, before you start claiming um, your nationality, you must have, the, you know, why should I patronize you um, without losing that 
um, with yeah. the competing brands. So the first thing is to ensure that your product matches anything produced in you know, any other parts of the country, Asia, um, Europe, or anywhere else. And then the pride in Nigerian bit of it is just to keep reminding ourselves that, A, um, and talking to you know, fellow um, Nigerians at the moment, that if you're already not thinking Nigerian, you're not thinking buying Nigerian, you, know, you, you need to get with the program because you know, there are people doing this, and we have quite a lot of people doing this already. So we're very intentional um, about that. You know, I, I remember when we wanted to start, I wanted to put the Nigerian flags in our bottle. And you know, we had a lot of people skeptical. About that, it? Yeah, that once you put the Nigerian flag on the bottle, then that means it's inferior. But look at wow. it today. No. Um, it's a non-issue. And now we've even got the multinationals all putting Nigerian flags on their bottles. True. So yeah, so True. I think it's been quite a, you know, an achievement. Wow, that, that, that was a great, great one, great yeah. move there. Uh, no. COVID-19 has come with its impacts and all businesses are faced with it, particularly when we talk about Forex and, you know, scarcity of Forex yeah. for business people like you. How, how, how has it been? We must ask you, how have you coped with this? It's been quite a challenge, like, like you, as you say, for everybody, um, especially uh, for people with your raw materials. Yes. Um, trying to get in your raw materials. It's been quite a bit of a challenge. Fortunately for us, we keep a fairly, a fairly large inventory. Um, so you've not been able to be as impacted as some of our suppliers have been. But yeah, you're absolutely right. It's, it's been quite a bit of a challenge. We're looking inwards, maybe one way or the other? We've, we've always done that. Great. Um, you know, with a lot of our raw materials, we, it, much of it is actually locally sourced. Um, so we, we didn't have that, you know, sudden challenge. Good. Um, and it, it's an ongoing exercise where we keep looking at um, ensuring everything you use is locally produced. Well, government is key in making your business <laughs> more, you know, of course, you our know, ease of doing business and yeah. all of that. We've seen government, this government particularly focused on encouraging businesses, yeah. you know, um, indigenized and businesses to stay afloat. Now, what would you say, what would you want government to do? What challenges do you face that you think they have a role to play in and making it easier for you? Um, I'm not sure if you say what more or just them doing their job. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's the basics. Considering um, the Nigerian factor, maybe they do more. Well, I agree with yeah, you. It's it, their it's, job. They need, yeah, it needs to be done. Um, you know, access to roads, access yep. to market, power, um, ease of doing business. Um, fortunately for us, you know, we're located in Ogun State. Um, oh. So we have a very good um, listening ear over there. Um, so they put in quite a bit of an effort. But... You know, like, like you already mentioned, there's, there's a lot more that can be done. And it's basically what we would consider as the basics, really, just them doing their job. Indeed, the manufacturing sector needs a lot, of, you know, just to get it. But, but let's now look at your, your products again, you know, interestingly. Uh, what would you say about distribution? How has it been across the country and how are Nigerians also taking it? We're, we're nationally, we, we, you know, we distribute nationally. Oh. Um, so we're all over. Um, there, there really wouldn't be a location that you wouldn't find the product. Um, so that has been quite an interesting um, exercise. You asked how consumers are receiving yeah. it? Quite well. I mean, when you take a look at our energy drink, for example, with Fialis, I mean, it's a product that is grossly the market leader with um, unrivaled, really. Um, so the, the products are well um, received and it, it can be found nationally. Now, uh, to something also very important, that's about the sponsorship and some big uh, ticket media assets. Uh, at this very time where all companies are crying, uh, you, know, yeah. you know what it means. Now, what's driving this one and what more can we know? What's driving this? All the sponsorships you see us doing are actually very much in line with our marketing strategy. Um, we have a uh, song this year, which is about brand equity, brand building. And so this falls in line with that whereby the narrative of driving um, to make sure that the, our target audience um, find our brands, the go-to brand. Brands. Uh, while at the same time, we, we must make sure that we find partners that we can find mutual benefits with. Um, so it's very much all in line with our marketing strategy. Mm. Uh, I know what more would you want Nigerians to know because you're really doing very well. I must congratulate you with all of this mm. that we've seen. What more do you want Nigerians to know about Right Food? <laughs> That's a million dollar question. <laughs> that, uh, the, the brands, the products um, are absolutely world class. True. From um, production, I'm talking your raw materials, your um, inputs, your economic, your um, being green, and doing everything as it should, should be, done. be done. And that, that is, it's a brand that I think people, everybody should be proud of. Um, I always encourage people to visit our websites, visit our YouTube pages, you see the factory. And even better still, visit the factory as well. We are very open 
um, to that so people can see that when we claim world class, it's not just a slogan, it's a statement of fact. Wow. That's a really good way uh, to leave it because I wanted to ask you what for we've already said what you have for Nigerians and for Nigerian for consumers they still want more the yeah. energy drink and um, the carbonated drinks Nigerians want more. What more? Well, when you, you know if, if you take a look at what we've done even today yeah. uh, even with the carbonated drinks we have the most flavors than any of the competition out there so we are the most innovative. Um, brand. We've got 11 flavors of carbonated drinks. We've got two of the energy. So in all, in total, as I said today, we're already on 14 different flavors, wow. um, which our competitors are not doing. So mm. already, well, yeah, but you're right. There's a lot more to come, and we're looking forward to that. And I just should expect more of that. Absolutely. Mr. Absolutely. Salim Adegu, I must tell you, it's very, very nice having you on our show. And that thing keeps taking me back. Nigerian brand, 100%. Uh, it makes me have that feeling that, yes, Nigeria, we will get there. We're already there. So, absolutely. I, I believe so. Absolutely. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon with us on Thank Business Nigeria and you know talking about all of this. Thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate this.